Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this particular Cast Magic review and Cast Magic tutorial, what I'm going to be doing in this video is I'm going to be walking you through a ninja hack that you can use to uh, use Cast Magic to speed up your workflow flow and to speed up your processes so that you can actually get more things accomplished in your business. Now, um, I'm going to use myself as an example here and sort of kind of walk you through my process and how I sort of do things. Now, I have something called the YouTube Roundtable where it's my YouTube coaching program where I take my students through a YouTube coaching program of start starting a YouTube channel and getting a YouTube channel to success. And and one of the things that I'm starting to show them is how to, uh, you know, get a better workflow for themselves and to work. I'm always huge on workflow because here's the thing. If you're creating content and you're having to put that content on several different platforms as a solo entrepreneur, you're going to get overwhelmed. I mean, you're just going to be swamped. You're going to be tired. You're going to just be in all kinds of situations. So what I do and what I endeavor to do is just help you sort of get away from the overwhelm when you're creating the content. So here's how I do that. One of the products that I use to do that is a product called Cast Magic. Now I'm inside of Cast Magic at this particular point. I've done some review videos of Cast Magic on this channel. Um, I've done some tutorials and stuff like that. So um, we have a free community. You can come inside our free community and we'll give you access to some additional tutorials. Heck, you might be watching inside of our free community um, right now on this particular one. Now, um, le let me slow down. Let me break this down and let's talk. As a solo entrepreneur, when you get ready to create content, normally you're making a video and you're putting that on YouTube. Um, so let me do this. Let me do this. You got a YouTube video. Your YouTube video um, is normally where you're starting, right? Now, you have to reverse engineer your process with everything that's necessary for you on your YouTube video. What do you need with a YouTube video? Normally, you're going to need a um, you're going to need a title, okay? Uh, you're going to need tags. You're going to need a description, and um, if you guys can think of something else, think of something. You're going to need titles, tags, descri description, um, and so you're going to need that now. Um, normally when you do your keyword research inside of something like vidIQ or morning fame, and I use a vidIQ a morning fame sort of combo, I use both of those tools in order to sort of help maximize my, my views on my videos. Um, I use both of those. And since I use both, both of those, I work really hard to make sure that I'm ranking those videos and that those videos are going to rank. Okay. So once I make my video and, and I have the video made, I know I'm going to need a YouTube short and I'm going to need YouTube shorts description. Normally when, when that comes with the description, you're going to need a set of hashtags along with that okay so if you do a YouTube short you're going to need a YouTube short uh, title you're going to need tags as well description as well as a set of hashtags right um, let me just move that okay so that's your process for you for YouTube short now you're pretty much going to use the same sort of process for Things like, um, let's say, Instagram. Instagram. You're also going to use the same thing for Facebook Reels. Um, we're going to talk about fan base. Um, some of you may be putting it on X, also known as Twitter. Um, and, and for Instagram, you're going to need an, an Instagram title, tag, description, hashtag. You're going to need the same thing for Facebook Reels. You're going to need the same thing for fan base. You're going to need the same thing for Twitter. So you, what you can do inside of Cast Magic is you can set a prompt inside of that particular space so that when you create the video and you just drop the video inside of that space, it will automatically create for you your YouTube titles, tags, descriptions, etc. So it's going to go ahead and do all of the work for you. And that's done with the push of a button. I kid you not. Um, and so what I typically do, especially when it comes to YouTube shorts, I always or what, what it doesn't really matter where I'm posting it. 
what I typically will do is I will ask it for, um, and I'll give you an example. When I come in here and I look at the content that I've already created, it's going to give me 10 uh, YouTube Shorts titles. I ask the prompt to give me 10 titles for my YouTube Shorts. So that's a part of the prompt that I put in there. And I will sort of test the uh, the titles to see whether or not they're getting clicked on because you always want to be doing some testing. So I'll let it run for maybe 24 to 48 hours. If it's not really getting any, any traction, I might change or swap out the title to do something else. Okay. And, and I'm going to have my YouTube description here. Now, here's the thing. It's going to give me a description. And at the bottom, you see here, it's going to give me the hashtags for it already. So the hashtags are already included in the description for me. Now, if you do something like YouTube keywords, you can use this. And I actually have it to actually create some LSI keywords for me as well. Um, so and you could change the prompt in there for yourself. Um, you make your own prompt so that you can get out what you need. Then here's my TikTok title. Now, I'm going to share something with you. This is a tip that is not shared with anybody else on the Internet. Normally, when I come up with my YouTube, uh, let's say titles, I want these titles to include my keyword, right? And the way that I set up the prompt, the prompt can't take every single individual video and tailor the keyword to that particular video because the keywords are going to change with every video. So what you can do with this particular situation is um, you can actually come here to these three little dots here and click on this and you can edit the prompt specifically for these for this particular um, video. Now when you edit the prompt for that particular video, it doesn't change your prompt for that particular space. It just changes the prompt for that particular video. So if you have your workflow and you guys know I use a Kanban system to do my workflow, what I will typically do is I will go ahead and have the prompt already inside of the Kanban. Let me go over to the Kanban um, so that it can create the title for me. OK, and so if you're in the community, I'm going to share this prompt with you. I need you to create a clickbaity YouTube title that is brief and summary of the video using no more than 60 characters. Use relevant keywords to help people find the video through search. Make a catchy title to grab people's attention. Use attention words, uh, phrases, whatever, whatever. Generate 10 best clickbaity titles based on the topic. Normally, when I have the when, what I put is the topic here is typically going to be the title um, or the keyword that I found in Morning Fame or uh, VidIQ that I'm going to use. And so this is going to be the prompt that I'm going to use for that. OK, now I'll list this prompt down below um, inside of our private community. So if you're watching this in the private community, you guys will be able to see it. If you are watching this on YouTube, you're going to need to come over and join the private community so you can get this particular prompt. And, and I'm going to probably make another video to sort of walk you through and break this down even further, because I kind of feel like uh and I need you, you guys need to see what I'm actually talking about and break it down even more. But this is kind of just the, the workings of it. So that way you can understand how it actually works and you can use that in order for you to um, become uh, a better uh, prompt writer inside of cast magic. So understanding the prompt is very key. So if you have come to this cast magic tutorial and review and you want to know how to better use cast magic, I will definitely link a one of, you know, I'll put a card or something somewhere around here so that you can go to the video and actually watch it um, and, and watch my review video. And if you haven't picked it up, there'll be a link in the description for you below. Make sure you pick up Cast Magic because I promise you this is going to be something that you're going to want to use in your business. Um, you can do all of these things that I mentioned. Uh, YouTube Shorts, Instagram, Facebook, fan base, Twitter, uh, Lemon. Um, it just depends on where you're posting your content. You can even have this to write a blog post for you. OK, you can actually have this to generate a blog post and write a blog post. And I'll maybe show you guys how to do that in a little bit. But 
this is just to show you that you can actually change the prompt. Now, no one else on the internet has told you that if you have a, a title here, you can have it generate, you can edit the prompt in here that doesn't change the prompt outside in your, in your actual space, but it'll actually change it here. So if you have different prompts that you just want to change for the sake of, uh, you know, this particular video, if you've already got them in your Kanban system, you can go ahead and have uh, have the prompts already in the Kanban. Now, if you don't have a Kanban system and you want to learn more about Kanban, I actually have a round table where I teach all of my students all of this. And all you have to do is join our YouTube round table. Um, there'll be a link, uh, link to link in the description below. It'll give you more information about our YouTube round table. It's a year long coaching program to help you run your YouTube channel and to get your YouTube channel producing more results and making you more sales, which eventually is going to make you more money. Okay. All right. But that's just for this particular video. Please make sure that you click like subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the very next video.